Hello my friends, welcome back to the Archipelago Randomizer. We are going to, uh, not Gates of Hell, um, <laughs> what is this? Redstone, of course. We're going to Redstone. Uh, so, first thing I wanted to say before we even start over here is that there is good news. The first thing that unlocked in the last one actually did unlock properly. It just didn't show up on any of the stuff, as did all the stuff at the end. So, behind the scenes, everything just worked out great. It's just... There was a disconnect that happened on my side and caused some visual errors, but we're all good to go. So the extra thing we got was Ultra Capacitors, the laboratory upgrade that allows you to attack faster for every attack and armor upgrade you have. So I'm real happy about that. Ooh, don't die, don't die. So what I was thinking on this mission is normally this is where you go for like Reapers. Reapers are really good here, like an infantry army with some medics and stuff. Yeah, that can actually get a lot done. However, there's actually two very, very good gas geysers. We have auto gas. We have the extra gas upgrade. Is this a mission where the Wraith is actually good? I think that it is. I think that we're going to be able to go mass Wraith, and it's legitimately going to be a solid pick that isn't even going to be a meme. It's just a dream. Not a nightmare, though. I'm I'm going to give it a shot. I'm excited to see how this goes. I don't know if it is truly going to be good or if it's going to be, like, slightly good, but it definitely, there's no negative emotions that are going to be associated with today's mission. I promise. And we have the tech reactor now, so we can make even more of them. Yeah, I like this. I like this so much. So we just drop a starport right here, and then we make a tech reactor, and we start clearing things out so we can get our second base mining real quick. There's not a whole lot of detection on this mission, honestly, which is going to be very strong. So we can grab this money, that money, and then head on over here. We can grab all this, land a Ruha. And head on over. I actually have another idea that I want to try out as well. So normally defending on this mission can be... Hey, money. Defending on this mission can kind of be a pain. But what if we had something pretty sweet over there? So we're going to bring these guys over. And these guys as well. Take down all the defenders right here and just start build... Oh, we need an engineering bay. <laughs> um, do we have do we have power build like multiple guys building? We, <laughs> that's gonna make traditions work. Oh, uh, I messed up already. That's okay. That's okay. We do. Perfect. And then we can go. Just wall this area off with traditions, and it's gonna make them attacking by ground really tough. See, it's so powerful, they're already trying to stop it. It's brilliant. Okay, and then we're going to have to move over to defend this area as well. I guess you guys are going to chill out next to the Perditions. Stop any attack waves on this side, and... It's going great. We can probably stop this here. Lift these up. Move these friends this direction. And wraiths are incoming. Ship weapons. <laughs> we only have plus one ship weapons, of course. I forgot about that. Whoops. I don't think I lost anything. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm pretty sure I did okay. Let's move this on over during the lava. And we can get, like, two, three guys to long distance mine from there to finish everything off. And you guys patrol here. All right, raids. The raids are just, they have this hyper-mobility, which is the awesome part, I think. Pull them on over. I guess we got to repair. We shouldn't have to repair for long. And land and mine. And the wraith is not actually super intensive in terms of resources either. It just mostly costs the gas that doesn't matter. So we can swing on up. 
Let's grab a couple of these pickups to continue being able to afford the raise. My supply is so high because it's just, it's a perfect strategy. It's, it's too good. It should probably be nerfed. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm a little bit broke. That's okay. That's normal. One, two, three. There we go. Now, can these guys start taking down these bases? I don't know. Oh, not yet. <laughs> but they don't have much. <laughs> they got like no anti-air here. We can take out all the defenders. Except for the spores. And then we can get ship plating level one and level two. That'll be fantastic. Two more raids to enter the fight. Oh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, you think you can stop me with your detection? Sorry, loser. Oh, what a what a loser. They're so dumb. They think they're so cute, but they're not. They're just bad. Compared to the Wraith. Alright, so now comes the true test. Ow. I don't think I can beat those yet. The raid's on over, and then I think that this is enough. I'm feeling it. <laughs> it's not pretty when you have to watch it live. One down, one to go. It's one in the back. And we're fine. The Perditions did an amazing job. Everyone here onto the high ground. We're gonna lift this and bring it down here. Well, we keep making. Oh no, guys, it's so powerful. What are we gonna do about this lava? Oh wait, we gotta go over to the Brutalist now and clear it out. But we have fly. Oh, I forgot about the roaches. That's fine. Dealt with most of the stuff over there, and then we cloak. Finish all these off. <laughs> and we'll just kill the Brutalist. It doesn't have detection. Fantastic. Let's, uh... Did I... Oh, I moved this over here. <laughs> I was looking at the minimap here. I was like, did I throw out all my taunting? Did I just lose it to the lava? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're stressing too much about it. <laughs> Nothing that could have possibly gone wrong. Did we kill it? Oh, we got incinerator gauntlets. And we got... I didn't... Oh, I didn't see where we were going to get this. Oh, no. Uh, I hope this isn't a problem. But we found the Goliath and we found the incinerator gauntlets. Both are things I'm very excited about. I'm just going to assume it works. I'll keep you updated tomorrow. Oh, they're all over me. Oh, not any longer because they're all dead. This is amazing. Finally, we found the unit for the mission. Let's swing on down, and... How many wraiths does it take to kill a spore in one volley? Probably, like, 30? How much are we doing here? Like, 150 damage per volley? I'll wait for a few more. How much is 150 damage against a spore? Fire. So we, lo we lose two raids. Almost three. But they were partially damaged, so it doesn't count. We'll cloak because we have all these upgrades. There's no detector over here. We finish these off very fast. And we can take this base down. They won't be able to build anything. All right, which one is depleting? It is this one up here. But there's still a decent Base amount of attack. stuff there. Let's see, you to first, then the spore, then the overseer, and the perditions have cleared it out. So, is this mostly a game of the perditions being good? Yeah, but you know what? It's going to be an effective game strategy. We're going to win. Lift, lift. 
you guys here. Send this one over here. We're going to keep this one here and do some long distance mining just to keep the economy active. Go after all these. Oh, are my gas geysers empty? Ah, they still got a lot. It's just the Wraith is very expensive. It's fine. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Let's bring the Reapers over here because they can help with the cleanup. Once we have all of the production offline, they'll be able to do a pretty good job. I guess we want a couple here. Couple here. And then... A little bit over there, then the rest of these guys can move on to this base and get it going. Another layer is down. Oh, can you not rescue these with air because no one ever expected you <laughs> to have air units on this mission? <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Wait a moment. Jackson's Revenge! <laughs> <laughs> Come help me, Big Daddy. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. That is wonderful. All right. So here he comes. And there's so much money here. I think I can be done producing at this point. There's nothing that's going to stop this army, especially if we get Jack in the front. All this is going to be fine. By the way, uh, do you guys remember in Twitch Trolls Grant where there was an event that spawned a Taldoran mothership and a bunch of destroyers to follow it around roaming the map and it would be hostile to both things? Uh, this might be what you're watching right now, a little bit of a hint of things that might be to come in Twitch Trolls Grant Heart of the Swarm. Just, uh, it might be, who knows? So we're going to be able to clear this out, grab these guys, and let's start the fight. No reproducing available from now on. We can take down the scary things with the flyers while the reapers finish everything else off and grab all the cash around the map. Mineral field's been depleted. Oh no, I never landed this. Oh, that's hurting my income a little bit, but it's okay. Base is under attack. If only we had some fast-paced fighter unit that could get home and deal with this obstruction against me. If only. Oh gosh, I have I have stuff everywhere. Okay, lift, you guys here, you guys here. Lift, move over to that base. High ground, Wraiths took it out. And I think that's everything on the high ground. Oh, they got burrow baned. The Reapers took that hit. It's If only they could fly. And cloak. There's one more base. I guess there's two more bases, technically. <laughs> Fire him auto. And then clear. Then we land... And we land properly this time. Some over there, some over here. A little bit down, and then these mad lads go right over to that defended area. And the hatchery's gonna go kaput. And of course, one thing we can do is for this final area, we don't have to go into the super defended choke. We can instead just slip our way on up. I do like the Goliath. That's a pretty exciting one. So now we have the Goliath, we have the Diamondback, and we have the Hellion. This is a very average mech composition that we can start making. That'll be pretty exciting. Well, that didn't... The Wraiths, uh... If you are playing Zerg and you don't mind your units dying, then I think the Wraith is the unit for you. You know? Let's just, uh, let's just take this hive down. We can use Jackson's Revenge to finish this off. If they had a couple more attack upgrades, they'd be fine, you know? But we just, we don't have... 
Not in this year's budget. Maybe in 2023. If our portfolio starts performing a little bit better. That's what we really need is a StarCraft mod where you can invest in various Terran corporations and as well or as poorly as they do, you start earning dividends on the stock and use that money in order to pay for your units and stuff. That's a little too real as a mod idea. What other defenses do they have here? Just a couple things that are going to die. Infested Terrans can be taken down by the Wraith. Which is the second time we have done that in this campaign. Isn't it? <laughs> it just keeps happening. Wraith is the hard counter to infested Terrans. And because it's all anti-ground, it's surprisingly low resistance. Except for the Spore. So we can fire your motto here. Take this down. And then we have 7,000, so let's send the Reapers in. And try to grab the rest of this money. Alright, that worked. Let's pretend I did a good job. <laughs> I mean, if you, you know what they say about SCVs. If you can't take the heat, then you shouldn't get in the seat. Uh-oh. Uh the circling's burrowed. Oh, he doesn't care. This guy's a legend. Go, 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 go. Got it. Get out of here. No! No! The missile turret, finally! We got what we came for. Now let's get it. <laughs> it took the entire campaign, but we got it. Oh, that's wonderful. Alright, guys, that has been Devil's Playground uh Flyboys, because I've never played it that way before. Our options are Shatter the Sky, In Utter Darkness, or Echoes of the Future. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will talk to you soon. Peace!